Okay, <clears throat> yeah, enough of that. Here we go. TB Photo X 1.5 TFX, and welcome back to another video. Well, this one is a little bit of a topic that I know has been debated uh, to time and time again in all sorts of manners, shapes, size, and forms. And it's uh, octopus securing, and um, yeah, I got my own little idea of it, and I just uh, asked for some feedback on you more experienced guys out there in YouTube land. What do you think? Uh, good, bad, indifferent, uh, yeah. Anyway, well, this, the thing is that they have been a lot of different ways that you can uh, attach a safe second or octopus uh, uh, second stage uh, regulator. Well, uh, Swedish saying, Kärt barn har många namn, which uh, basically translates into loved child has many names or bears many names. Well, here's my little uh, DIY uh, thing for attaching a safe second. It is basically, <clears throat> well, a little bit of a backstory. In 1989, almost over 30 years ago, a, a Swedish inventor came up with saw that the well he saw that there were a lot of accidents when children who were out bicycling uh, had gone off their bikes uh, to explore uh, with, without being able to take off their helmets get gotten stuck with their heads and in uh, the way they're trying to get uh, unstuck unfortunately the chin strap has gone and uh, they almost choked so he came up with a the green clip that is was called which you can actually see here and what is so special with the green clip well this little device that i've been able to cobble together from some bits and pieces either you can just secure it with a bolt snap on a d-ring or any other way the, you know the ordinary the the way i used to do it was just to fold the the hose like so and shove it up a d-ring uh, either at the cummerbund or at the right shoulder or right peck somewhere in this area and you just pull it it's a bit stiff but you can pull it loose and i've seen all other sorts of contraptions for holding the safe second so this was my idea so basically the idea was that they made the bicycle helmet manufacturer made a green clip that uh, was able to be pulled apart when a bit of force was exerted on it so the helmet would still protect the child during normal bicycling or a bicycle accident but in if the head got stuck and the helmet was pulled the clip was supposed to pull apart and that exactly is what this is so yeah i went on tradera got myself a used child's bicycle helmet removed the nylon strapping nylon webbing and the green clip and yeah then it's basically like so <clears throat> so in essence this uh, this uh, octopus holder can be uh, detached uh, three different ways in an emergency first you have the bolt snap which uh, just clips it off to anywhere in the triangle you know uh, the second one is that you have enough mental fortitude so that you can grab it and unclip it but if you have thick gloves or something like that like uh, like these ones my old school now five, five millimeter morris five finger gloves you don't really have the dexterity i believe to be able to unclip something like that but uh, so you have the three options bolt snap clip it off manually or you just grab a hold of the safe second yank it and it's off so that's a little bit of my little invention diy solution to this little this little thing about how to secure a octopus or safe second so yeah this is a quick little video just demonstrating on my little diy solution to a common um, scuba diving problem or that has been up for debate for time and time again so yeah <clears throat> full disclosure i actually sent an email to this manufacturer and told him about my little idea but uh, yeah uh, anyway <clears throat> 
uh, I think that this might be a little bit of a good solution, at least in my opinion, because in a panic situation, you have a buddy who is panicked, he needs air right away. There you go. There you go. So clipping this off, I mean, it's not going anywhere like so, but if you pull it on it, it will release. So that's uh, my take on this little, little phenomenon, this little idea. So yeah, all in all, this is all for me for now, but uh, what is your thoughts about this uh, little invention DIY solution? Good, bad, indifferent? I would love to hear your comments about it in the comment section below. And as always, this is Tobias Bergstrom from TB Photo X1.5 FX, and I'd like to see you guys in the next video. And as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care from now on. Bye.